Peace with that. This is Jarrell with Quantum Light Consciousness. Today we're going to talk about Jedi healing techniques. Um, I like to call it Jedi healing techniques because um, Jedi just means you are one with all creation. And um, if you do any meditation, if you're into energy healing, if you're into like the body and energy flow through the meridians of the self, you know, of the physical vessel, then you kind of know that, um, you know, you have the capacity to heal yourself. Not many people know that Jedi actually, uh, they do know how to heal themselves. Um, granted, you know, if you guys saw that last movie, and also um, Jedi are people who actually used to exist in ancient space. Um, it kind of just went off on the rails. And there's a huge galactic war and it fell down in Egypt and um, it kind of gets translated into how it went into movies like Star Wars. Jedi are people just like normal people, just like you saw Luke. Um, spoiler alert, you know, you saw Luke um, and his issues with his personal development and relationships and um, connection with his own inner universe. Go see that movie because it's awesome. So if you know about the Jedi, you know that um, they basically use crystals and they use energy tools um, basically as a weapon um, but you know there's multiple different ways you can actually use it now people don't realize that um, when you utilize yourself within the space of your own reality your own inner reality you get to actually um, rearrange your own molecules with the force of your own will um, and that force is love it's the basis of all creation um, I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, you can heal yourself through the power of love, and you don't need crystals, bronze, or anything of that nature, um, because you are the master crystal. You know, you can have all the crystals you want, but you know, if you're not if you're not focusing on you know this crystal, you know, from your heart center, like you know, because you are a crystalline being, the, the physical body is actually a, a crystalline molecular structure. If you're not focusing with that first, then you know you can't really um, have that much um, effect on any type of healing capacity that you're looking to output. So, um, yeah, I mean they they do help, but at the end of the day, you kind of see that you know you are the healer, and um, you know Star Wars is a hero's movie, and you kind of see at the end of those heroes films that, you know, the people find what they need in themselves at the end all the time. Um, another good example is that is Thor. Um, at the end of that film, not a spoiler alert, at the end of that film, he finds out that he didn't need Mjolnir, the, you know, the, the Thor's hammer. He didn't need it, and he just starts conducting electricity himself. Same thing with humans, you know, humans are bioelectric. If you have understanding of the holographic fractal, construct of the universe and human being interlayered into that in the basis of the actual construct of creation then you can see bioelectricity going through your eyes when you begin to activate your physical body um, the first time I realized that love is a force and you can heal with it um, you can literally move like you can shift massive amounts of energy like across the planet and you can basically heal somebody that's um that's you know kind of like debilitated in a hospital um at first I, I had to find that out for myself um when unfortunately one day i was waking up uh and i was basically getting psychic attacked all right um i wake up at my interface you know, it's, it's basically just like a huge projection of my own consciousness. It's just like a, it's just like a huge, like, um, you know, just like a, it's like a huge TV screen. I'm looking at my own consciousness and I see these beings basically just attacking me. There's one dude that looks like Voldemort. There's one dude that looks like Jason. And there's one dude that looks like, I don't know, oh, um, the Sith Lord, the end, the Palpatine Sith Lord. And... They're throwing axes at like my brow center. I'm just like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take this. So basically, 
I program myself to understand that, you know, love is all creation. So I was like, okay, so if I was the power of love, like, what would that feel like? So I just felt it. And once you align with that, you start to move force through your body. And when I did that in that specific scenario, the entire situation, they just started to just like morph away. Like they literally like phased out of existence. They like a wall like went up and then they could not like penetrate. They could not even like scratch me. So, um, you know, just like, like know that you are a piece of creation as creator himself or herself and as a creator you can use the power of love to heal anything about yourself like you might not be in a hardcore situation like that um, but really just as long as you're based out of your heart energy and you move energy from there you know kind of picture yourself as like a wavelength or as like just like a ball of energy and you expand the energy you can swirl that energy you can spin that energy you do anything you want um, i personally when i do healings for people i like to sit in my pyramid and i basically i basically like levitate my energy body and just practice myself as a waveform and i just move i basically move the energy through my entire body towards the person and then another way that i do it which I'm about to tell you right now is I use energy balls um, to the main energy centers of the body. The best way to heal is love and the best way to kind of utilize that is through the pink ray, through pink energy. So I'll take, um, I'll, I'll literally create pink spheres and then I'll put them into my own energy centers four at a time. Four pink spheres in my stomach, four pink spheres in my heart, four, four pink spheres in my head. That builds up your energetic capacity and strength to, to, to heal and mend any type of blockages and detach any type of clinging, you know, hooking attachments. It also um, builds up the sustenance you have of your own energy within yourself, especially you have to keep cycling that. When you keep cycling that, that's exactly what it does. It just makes you stronger as as an energy being. But remember, um, anytime you do any type of healing, um, just call your higher self in and tell them to remove any negative beings that have attached it to your field and remove any AI attachments as well that have hooked into your field. I didn't know this. Like, like your higher self will literally sit there and just watch you suffer. Like, oh, he, he doesn't he, he doesn't know to tell me, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do anything. Like I'm not mad, but it's like it's like they will literally watch you suffer. So yeah, even after one of our last videos when I was talking about that AI squid thing, like I had really not the insight to call my higher self and tell him not to let that thing hook into my field when I tell him to unhook the negative beings that are around me. Um, so just make sure that you do say, you know, unhook the AI too, because when they when your higher self takes away the negative beings and AI is still on you, AI is like a carrier for the negative beings, so any, any, any other like love you so cross heaven and hell to be with you and make sure you make the shift but you have to know when you're getting messed with because that's how the universe works um, if, you don't, if you don't know you're getting messed with you're controlled somehow then people will continue to do it um, you know just like how it is in real world you know if you don't know you know your finances are being hijacked by the banks or, or whoever is doing whatever in the government it continues to happen so um, if you like my sessions you know, my, my videos, uh, feel free to book a session, fill up on quantumdelight.net, do healing and intuitive coaching. Thanks so much.